So this is in doing distance the spool has been spooled, and it's equal to a qu let's roll it a quarter turns. Now in doing the distance the spool have un has travelled the sum of the equal moves, and so you ha what happens to the rope? The other way to think about it, which is of course the pivot move here. So for the pulling point in the same rolling motion, when you distance the spool has spooled, which is the rope from our hand. I'm assuming that there is always an interestingly, if I pull the rope upwards, that means they know that the few. Like when the force is being applied, the force passes through the pivot around the screen, and it's as the spool fills, the spool is almost full, this high friction mat to worry about if there's enough edge of the spool, like clipping, the spool is almost full. You've got only a tiny gap, but what happens to and the edge of the spool as the spool fills up with rope? It's full, so have some, just, it's this distance divided by this radius. You have a mechanical advantage of 10. Actually, it's the spool that has the mechanical advantage over me, right? Because the spool has advantage over me for a large distance. Yeah, the spool has a uh, low force over a, but it means I can, yeah, that's right. My hand has a uh, disadvantage for a large distance. Yeah, the spool, hand has a mechanical uh, disadvantage force over a large distance. I can get, yeah, that's right. Spool has advantage, low force over me, advantage of 10. Actually, it's the spool that has the mechanical advantage over me large distance because the, yeah that's right my hand has a uh, low force over a large distance means i can get something to move a long distance by applying a large force over a short distance i can get something to move when you fill the spool up completely you get a large singularity in the equation for mechanical advantage when you fill the spool mathematical description we get an infinity we have infinite mechanical advantage obviously friction in this case we just end up dragging the thing along fail and the first thing to fail is friction in it, that in the real world something t we have infinite mechanical advantage. first thing to fail is friction you hardly have to tilt the rope up at all with toilage of the spool the toilet roll is by definition always full it's always full so what happens if you catch part of the spool and you'd have spool being toilet roll situation being pulled from this radius gets bigger can't pass through a table. Well, I can need to worry that with this and the radius of the spool, which this is now that we wanted, and it's able to pass through the geometry. Table. This clearer critter than the rest is now just there to hold the rope from point, and the force is being this tense from a pivot. Well, this is how far the rope is built away from your hands it as well. It's interesting to note, whereas with the force vector, there's an angle at which it pivot point. There are two being empty. And if the very center, Axis of the speed to keep adding rope, pulling on the cord. In the limit of in the limit, we can achieve as that printed this way, seeing what happens as comes this very small pen spool of the spool. And of the spool get this is loads of rope. Appreciate a straight hardly, and that makes sense. Every radius rotation of what we know. I 3D printed this that of really appeals to do it. Here's what incognito off the sponsor we've already figured out. Oh, probably want to get done, but I really appreciate us to figure out how to do it. We've all, like, oh, and in this setup, that exact setup. In other words, rope is pulled, being taken by the images of the So this is not what we want, the radius of the spool. This part of pool on the ground, the toilet rolls, rope was being pulled from under the ground. Basically, I just want to see what happens to the maths as the, from under the fact that rope can't pass through a table. Well, I can achieve worry about well, always. In this case, we just end up drawing an infinity. We have infinite mechanical advantage. To fail is friction. In this case, we just end the world. Something has to fail. And mechanical advantage. Obviously, advantage. Then you have a mechanical advantage. Radius is 10 because the spool has a low force over a large distance. The spool, that's right. My hand has by applying mechanical disadvantage. But it distance. Yeah, the long distance. My hand has a mechanical disadvantage, but it means I can get something to move a long distance by applying mechanical disadvantage. No force over a large distance because the spool has the mechanical advantage uh, over me. Advantage of 10. Actually, because the spool, right, spool hand has a mechanical uh, over force over a large distance because, yeah, that's right. My hand has a mechanical disadvantage. But it means I can get so happens as that happens as that distance approach happens as that distance how much room there is left in the spool. Spool, you expect spool, you expect you expect the cord that's cord, cord that's wrapped around that's 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 wrapped around wrapped around wrapped wrapped around wrapped wrapped around a wrapped 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 around it. But based on the shot that I showed you at the very beginning, you spool a bit so that you have a video. Link in the description of video. Link in the description. I stumble upon this. I stumble upon this. I stumble upon this. This movement I can cause this.
link 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 link